a very interesting thought worth analyzing. This panel suggests using a whip to hit a moving car so strong it will come to a stop. Well first of all, don't stand in the middle of the road and never try anything like that. Now let's talk whips. In the past they were used to guide horses and nowadays some people use them for you know what. But beyond that, they can be fascinating tools that if used correctly could deliver a very strong impact despite their light weight. The reason behind that is that the kinetic energy is transferred from the hand to the very last point where it accumulates and produces a whiplash, similar to a perfectly delivered boxer's knockout punch. The tip of the whip actually travels fast enough to break the sound barrier and create a mini sonic boom distinguished by the cracking sound. That being said, if the scenario in question were to happen, realistically, the whip would apply a force to the car that is nowhere near overcoming its current momentum so the car won't be noticeably affected in any way except for perhaps a small dent on its body. To bring the car to a halt, the whip would have to deliver an impulse equal to or greater than the car's momentum, which for a typical car at highway speeds would be around 50,000 kg meters per second. No material could withstand that, and no human hand could generate such a force. But if we were to ignore those two issues and assume a superhuman is delivering the impact using a fantastic whip, the car wouldn't just stop, but rather be crushed or torn apart. Not to mention shockwaves that would result from such an impact would damage anything nearby. The way the energy is delivered plays a huge role in this result, because if we were to assume the road was flooded with sand, that would have a cushioning effect, slowing the car gradually and distributing energy over a larger area, instead of it all concentrating at one point. That way, the car and the passengers would likely be safe. In addition to the absence of something to stand on, this is another important reason for why Homelander can't lift an airplane in mid-air and safely land it. Because his size is small compared to the plane, therefore, it's very difficult to influence its dynamics. And if he uses too much force in a small area, he will likely puncture the plane or tear it apart. 